Garant's former coach, Alan Davis, uh, who joins us live. Alan, good morning. And I suppose I've got to say congratulations to you. You've got to take some of the credit for this. Uh, good morning, yes. Well, I was one of the helpers here when Garank first started. Um, Debbie Wharton was the, the coach down here then, and it, the whole club was her idea. So I think most of the credit goes to Debbie. Um, but we're, we're delighted with what Garank's done. I can't tell you how proud the whole club are of him um, and how much the club is growing because of his influence. Apparently he was on his way to a swimming lesson and he sort of saw people cycling around, peep through a fence, thought, oh, I fancy a bit of that. That wasn't your club that he spotted, was it? It was, yes. Um, they were... My, my son and Garant used to swim together in a local swimming club up, just up the road. And I, if I recall, I think they were actually doing a gala down here that evening. Um, and there were youngsters from the club out cycling um, so he sort of looked over the fence, thought, oh, that looks interesting. And then the following Thursday came down and had a go himself. And the rest, as they say, is history. Yeah, yeah. and we're looking at a bit of history there. We're looking at some old uh, snaps there of him as a young lad. And I think this is so uplifting when you see him on everything from a tricycle right through to a, a racing bike through the years. And your son, Andrew, trained with him. What sort of lad is Garant? Oh, he, he was... He was a very relaxed lad. Um, he had quite a mischievous streak, although um, <laughs> when it actually hit the fan, he was, he was always in the background, but it was always his idea. Um, he had a wicked sense of humour, um, and I think that has stayed with him, as everyone saw from his speech yesterday. Um, a fantastic lad, but also incredibly dedicated to what he did with his training um, and how hard he worked. When Garrett started, the club had about 12, 15 riders, We've now got getting on for 200. Um, and it, it's interesting, back in 2008, Geraint won gold in the Beijing Olympics. Uh, at that time, we had a young Owain Duhl and Eleanor Barker cycling down here. They were about 11 or 12 years old. And he came back down to the track afterwards and was such an inspiration. Since then, Eleanor and Owain have gone on to win gold medals in Rio themselves. Wonderful, wow. wonderful. Well, look, listen, you, you reflect on your little uh, bit of glory. I'll tell, you uh, I'll tell you what I wanted to do. Just yeah. not to interrupt you, one thing I wanted to ask you about is everyone talks about how brilliant he is uh, at, at tackling and dealing with injury. Last year he did, what was it, 20 kilometres or something with a broken pelvis and kept on going to kind of lead the way for others. But his wife at the time said, funny how he can do all that but he still won't bend over to do the washing because he says it hurts his pelvis. So you can get to wherever you want in life, can't you? But the <laughs> wife still nags. Is that the lesson? They seem like a great couple. Oh, oh ab absolutely. Um, yeah, I think they're, they're made for one another. Um, he seems incredibly happy um, with, with his life now. And, uh, yeah, he, he's a professional sportsman. Of course he needs help in the house. <laughs> Alan, well done. Good luck. Great Thanks very much indeed. Continue the celebrations there in yeah. Cardiff. Cheers. Thank you very much indeed. Do you cycle? I do cycle. Do you know, I hadn't been on, I used to cycle all the time as a kid. Hadn't been on for absolutely years. And then we went away to centre parts, you know, when you have to leave your what car nice. and you cycle yes. everywhere. Yes. I got back on it. I thought, I quite like this. It's good, isn't I it? I agree with you, but it's that protected environment somewhere. Yes, there. you haven't got the roads. I mean, road Charlotte, you, you would often see me on the roads of Surrey. It's true. Oh, oh yeah. But I, I do worry. I worry about toppling off. I worry about traffic rumbling up beside well, me. Behind the wheel in your car. Well, yeah. I, well <laughs> do, you, do you partake? I have a bike. It's in the garage yes. and it has not come out for many years. Are you worried years. about going out on the roads? I think I probably would be, actually, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm not really into the whole cycling thing when there's a whole yeah. line of people just following each other. Yeah. Not my kind I of thing. I think just if you felt safer about, about the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, it's tricky in cities, isn't it? But there's a lovely feeling of freedom. 